Hi partners, how are you? Today our topic is about pesticide label. Actually, pesticide label includes most of the information of pesticide. For example, the name of the pesticide, how to use it, how many grams per hectare you should use, and also how to protect ourselves when mix the pesticide, etc. So the topic today is very important. Okay, let's go. Here is a pesticide label instruction for you. Okay. Uh, firstly, let's talk about the name of the pesticide. Generally, for a kind of pesticide, its name includes trade name and common name. Trade name is usually made and designed by the manufacturer. They could design a good trade name and a famous name for this kind of pesticide. And the common name is usually made based on AI. AI is short for active ingredient, which is the real substance to kill or control the pest. And also, for example, here it shows per liter of this kind of pesticide, it includes 400 grams of AI. And secondly, here is the formulation. Actually, in my instructor course, I introduced the formulation already. For example, the SC, EC, all of them are formulations, okay? For each pesticide, it has a formulation. And also, cautionary notice, okay? Because the pesticide is always personal, okay? So, it has a cautionary Notice here. And here is the registration number or information. You could check whether the pesticide is fake or not through the government website using registration number. And also here is the application instructions. Okay, for example, how to use this kind of pesticide, how many amount per hectare you will use, in which crop, something like that. And here is the color band which is based on hazardous class. And on the right, you could find the batch number, okay? Batch number means which batch it is produced from the manufacturer. And also more information, for example, date, manufacturer, expiry date, something like that. And also the quantity, concentration, for example. Furthermore, there are some safety measures, for example, it will tell you how to protect yourself when using this kind of pesticide. For example, you should wear mask, gloves, and also wash your hands after mixing the pesticide. On the bottom of the bottle, you could find the pictograms also. Okay. For example, here this one means handling instructions. Next, I will set an example for you about the pesticide label. The picture here shows a kind of pesticide. On the top of the label, it shows the manufacturer, okay? And then it shows the trade name of this pesticide. It is called Topper 80, and it's a kind of herbicide. And the common name is glyphosate ammonium salt, which is used to kill weeds. And the AI, which is the active ingredient is 75 per 7 percent. And the formulation is SG. SG is short for soluble granules. And below it shows it is imported and marketed by which company. Okay, and the batch number also. Here on the bottom, on the left, it shows the net weight. On the right, it shows more details, for example, the mode of action. For the glyphosate ammonium salt, it is selective, absorbed mainly by shoots and roots of germinating weeds. And then next, it shows which crop it should be used to and the function of this kind of pesticide. Besides, it shows the dosage it could use per hectare, and how to use it. It is for spraying. Furthermore, the label shows the notice, first aid, and storage and disposal methods. 
and also on the bottom, on the right, it shows the manufacturer and the address, something like that, and also the manufacturer date and expired date. Okay, here are the most information of the pesticide label. And the reason for me to introduce the information of pesticide label to you is that you should know how to read the label and get the most information of this kind of pesticide so you will know how to use it. And also from the label, you will know the registration number from which you will know how to check whether the pesticide is fake or not. Okay, that's all for today.